All right, we got ourselves a 2000, 2012 Jeep Liberty. It's got a check engine light on. Um, I just fired up the Ytech, the factory um, Chrysler diagnostic software. And we're basically gonna go in here and we're gonna try and get codes, so. And we just have a little uh, USB dongle supplied by AE Tools. It's a VC, you can see right here. That's what we have um, connected into the cable. We just have it plugged into the USB connector. It goes down to the USB port. And that's AE Tools VCI WSP. So we got a 2000. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. Logging into the tech authority. And this Chrysler software is pretty sleek. slick. It's, it's going to go in and identify all the modules and it's going to let us know which ones have codes in it. So I'm just going to wait here for a minute. Find it active ECUs. And it basically shows us a module map. Um, and it shows us which ones that have codes. As you can see, the one with the green asterisk there, meaning uh, that's got a new flash available. And so the story on this one is, he was heading to Manchester mm -hmm. a week or so ago, and the fucking tranny puked out on it. Yeah. So they put a tranny in it, sent him, said come back in a week or two, they want to just check, make sure everything is good. They go back, everything is good. They get about five miles down the road. The, um, Check engine light comes on. Right. So we take it back to him. He said, oh, it's nothing to do with um, what we did. Right. And um, he says it does rev up sometimes. So he said he had a transmission put in it? Yeah, it was rebuilt. Okay. Solenoid switch valve latched in torque converter clutch position TCC. Uh-oh. So. I'll do some research. <laughs> I think that one is. You have so to train it. Transmission related. Yep. So we got a P1775 solenoid switch valve latched in the TCC position. Torque converter clutch. I would assume that means. But well, that's just a brief overview of how the um, Wildtech software works. Um, you can see we got data, we got DTCs, we got flash. And but the cool part about it is how it identifies all the modules over to the left. And you can just you can instantly see which ones have codes, which ones need to be updated, uh, and so forth. But until next time, thanks from the flatratemechanic.com.